Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. The bottom line is, I told you so. That's not something scientists often say. But this time, it might be deserved. A group of astronomers analyzing data from the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, have stumbled upon something that may shake the foundations of modern cosmology. They've found that some of the oldest galaxies in our universe appear much larger and brighter than previously expected. And this observation might mean that the entire concept of dark matter, the invisible force we've relied on for decades to explain the structure of the cosmos, could be wrong. Yes, wrong. Instead, the findings may point toward a controversial alternative theory called Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, a theory that many in the scientific community have spent years dismissing. But now, the data might just be on MOND's side. Let's dig into what this means for the future of cosmology, for our understanding of galaxies, and for the unseen forces that shape the universe. It all starts with what scientists expected to see. Under the standard cosmological model, galaxies are thought to form through a gradual process. Tiny clumps of matter, built around cold dark matter, slowly come together over billions of years. These little fragments eventually merge and evolve into the giant galaxies we see today, like the Milky Way. This process, known as hierarchical evolution, is a fundamental piece of how we understand the universe. The model works well. It explains why galaxies look the way they do, spiral, elliptical, irregular, and it accounts for their sizes, rotations, and large-scale distribution across the cosmos. But now the JWST has started peering deep into space, and that means looking far back in time. When scientists pointed the telescope toward the early universe, they expected to find faint, barely their galaxies. Tiny pieces still in the early stages of formation. Instead, they found something astonishing. According to the researchers, the galaxies they observed were far bigger and much brighter than anything predicted by the dark matter base models. And this wasn't just a one-off observation, it happened again and again, even as scientists looked farther and farther back in time. That's when some astronomers, including Stacy McGaw, started to wonder if something else was at play. Stacy McGaw is an astrophysicist at Case Western Reserve University in Ohio. He's been a longtime supporter of MOND, a theory that offers a completely different explanation for galaxy formation and behavior. And now, looking at the Webb Telescope's findings, Maga says it plainly. What the theory of dark matter predicted is not what we see. Instead, what we do see looks an awful lot like what MOND predicted more than two decades ago. Let's back up and talk about what MOND actually is. Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, was first proposed in 1982 by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram. The core idea is that when gravity becomes extremely weak, like at the outer edges of galaxies, it doesn't behave the way Newton's laws say it should. In these conditions, gravity might actually be stronger than expected. That would explain why galaxies rotate faster at their edges something that led many scientists to postulate the existence of dark matter in the first place. So rather than inventing an entirely new kind of invisible matter, MOND suggests that maybe our laws of gravity just aren't complete. It's a bold idea. And for decades, it's been considered fringe, too weird, too hard to reconcile with the rest of modern physics. But now, with the JWST data in hand, Maga and his colleagues are making a case for it once again. The logic goes like this. If galaxies in the early universe are too massive and too luminous to have formed under the standard dark matter model, but they fit perfectly into MOND's predictions, then maybe it's time to give MOND another look. As Maga says, the bottom line is, I told you so. I was raised to think that saying that was rude, but that's the whole point of the scientific method. Make predictions and then check which come true. It's not just the size and brightness of these galaxies that's the issue. There's also the timeline. These galaxies appear far too early in cosmic history. In fact, they seem to have grown to enormous sizes at speeds that current models can't account for. The dark matter framework simply doesn't provide a clear path for how these galaxies could have become so big so fast. Some skeptics have proposed that maybe we're not seeing galaxies at all. Maybe we're seeing active, supermassive black holes instead, which can be very bright. 
But that theory doesn't help much either. Because as Maga's team points out, it just replaces one mystery with another. Instead of wondering how so many stars formed so early, now we're left asking. How did so many massive black holes form so early? We still end up with something that's way out of step with the standard model. So MOND steps in with an explanation that, at least in this narrow case, works. But here's the catch. MOND has problems of its own. While it can explain certain galactic behaviors, it doesn't fit easily into a broader framework that explains everything else, like the cosmic microwave background, galaxy clusters, or gravitational lensing. Meanwhile, dark matter, though mysterious, does a better job of explaining those large-scale phenomena. That leaves cosmologists in a tricky position. As Maga and his colleagues put it in their recent paper, we find ourselves caught between two very different theories that seem irreconcilable, despite applying to closely related yet incommensurate lines of evidence. In other words, dark matter and MOND both seem to work, but in completely different contexts. They explain different things, in different ways, and can't both be fully true. But neither one is easily dismissed either. That's a tough spot for science. But it's also exactly how science advances. By challenging assumptions. By testing alternatives. And by following the evidence, no matter where it leads. So what happens next? The astronomers aren't declaring dark matter dead just yet. After all, it still explains a whole lot about the universe. And MOND, for all its successes, still can't answer every question. But the team argues that MOND has made too many correct predictions for its successes to be pure coincidence. In their own words, it must be telling us something. What that is remains as mysterious as the composition of dark matter. It's an exciting and uncertain moment in astronomy. The James Webb Space Telescope is doing exactly what it was designed to do, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, challenging our most basic beliefs, and showing us a universe that's often more complex, more chaotic, and more beautiful than we ever imagined. As more data from JWST comes in, we may learn that these early, oversized galaxies are just the beginning of a much bigger mystery. Are we missing something fundamental about the way gravity works? Is dark matter real, but incomplete? Or is it time to rethink the building blocks of the cosmos? Only time and more data will tell. But one thing is certain. Science thrives in these moments of tension. When theories clash, when observations defy expectations, when the answers only raise more questions. And right now we're standing at the edge of a profound cosmic mystery. So whether you're Team Dark Matter or Team MOND, or just watching from the sidelines, buckle up. Because the universe is about to get even weirder. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this journey through time, gravity, and galaxies that defy the rules. Whether Dark Matter is crumbling or MOND is rising, one thing's clear, the universe still holds secrets we've only just begun to uncover. Stay curious, stay questioning, and keep your eyes on the stars. This is Spaceverse, where science meets the unknown. Until next time, keep exploring.